Hey guys, it's Andrew, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the induction smelter from the Tekkit Pack. Now, the induction smelter is quite a useful machine. It's used for making ingots such as Electrum, which are used in um, quite a lot of recipes. So, I'm just going to be showing you how to make Electrum. So, first off, I'm going to go through how the machine works. So, you need a power source for it and some way to connect to it either that as a leadstone energy conduit, redstone energy conduit or however you want or however far into tech you are and how what materials you have and what you have so basically the induction smelter like all of my other videos that just sh that tells you the maximum power it can have and the energy stored so you don't need more power than 40 RF per tick for it to gain power because that's the maximum power it will take in at a time Redstone control usually leave on ignored so that it doesn't stop working. You can set it to whatever you want, but usually ignored or low. So if you put a redstone torch next to it and it's on high, then that will stop it working. Um, configuration, as always, blue is input, yellow, orange, and red are outputs. But with the induction smelter, it's quite quite clever because you can have where is it green and purple. Now this allows you to if you so it's on the back and the left hand side so back and left hand side this allows you to input the say you have two things coming from different places so you have a silver coming from one place and gold coming from another place you can put them into different inputs separately and they will only go into what am I doing into these slots here but I usually just leave them both on blue as blue is what I use for input blue is input basically and then set the output to orange unless you want them to go to different places so yeah it's actually quite as with all of them they're quite simple to use so basically what happens here is you put your pulverized gold in one side and your silver in the other side it will then like a furnace do it and you'll get your and you'll get two electrum ingots from it and that's how it works there's a lot of recipes that use an induction smelter and yeah it's as easy as that so i hope this tutorial helped you I'm we'll trying to do them quite quickly so that they don't take up too much time. And uh, yeah, um, thank you for watching.